Cryptocurrently. My Metis is an Ethereum blockchain-based revolutionary platform that is aiming to change the way you control your own health. My Metis is aiming to tackle the paperwork problem within medicine. They're going to give the control to the patient by giving you mobile and web access to your own records anywhere at any time. With a DOS-resistant centralized storage concept based around their cryptocurrency Metacoin. Metacoin is earned by sharing useful medical data like what your Fitbit already collects, and you can turn around and use the Metacoins on treatment and services. We're lucky to be joined today by Aram Kovach, the founder of MyMedis, to talk about his platform and company. Aram, thanks for being here, and let's start at the beginning. Where did MyMedis come from? Initially, the process came about uh, with the realization that probably us, and along with a whole other slew of people have, which is the, the currency of the internet is your participation in it. If you really stop and think about uh, how we say Google Maps is free, Google's free, you know, this is free, and that thing's actually truly free. Um, you you pay with your participation, but you, for the most part, are unaware that you're paying because what you do is observed and resold to others who pay a lot of money in some instances for that behavioral model. Of course, you know, where you go, what you spend your money on. So this idea of having an Apple Watch that is billed out to you as a customer to show you, you know, uh, the time and messages that come through and your ability to talk through it or whatever is really kind of um, maybe misconstrued in the fact that, yes, while you have all those benefits, I think the true big benefit that Apple's getting out of it that you're not really made aware of, or perhaps you are, but for the most part you're not, is that they now have not only the ability to track and determine where you are and what you're spending your money on, but what you're excited about and be able to corroborate that, right? If your heart rate goes out while you're listening to a song, they now have the ability to tie those two pieces of information together to get even more inside your head, which is fine. And I think as long as the consumer is aware of that um, and you're choosing to participate by wearing the device and getting all the other benefits, it's fantastic. I just think that it should be something that the individual has the opportunity to also benefit from. And that's where the idea came from for my Metis to say there are all these uh, external devices that track our health and monitor our health and we would like as the patient's uh, choice to be able to share that data with whoever they want including themselves because in some instances that data isn't made known to you. A big part of what my Metis is pitching to consumers is that devices like Fitbit or Apple Watch are already collecting a lot of biometric data. Combine that with data mining in web browsers and mobile devices to create a comprehensive profile on consumers that can be sold at will. My Metis aims to change that. Please give us a little information on how. The millennials take a pretty good log of almost everything they eat. They they Snapchat their photos of breakfast or you know put it on Instagram and they they basically are creating a chronology or a log of everything that they're doing. If they exercise, if they're, you know, sleeping, eating, whatever they're doing, it's all log. So we would like to take all of that relevant information as it's related to your health anyway and pull it back into some sort of a chronology so that if somebody had to review your medical record, it would be much more thorough than you filling out a form saying, are you on any medications, right? Because that doesn't really help. What you want from a medical perspective is to see what led up to the heart attack or what led up to the stroke or what is about to lead up to the stroke and maybe prevent it. And that's where I think the value of my Metis comes in as a medical wallet that is decentralized it's globally dispersed to you know every nook and cranny of the planet so no rogue government or health organization or or anybody really for that matter can delete your records and you have absolute and total control not only with the information that's being amassed or collected but also with the ability to profit from it this leads us directly into the vehicle by which your platform is going to operate which is the metis coin so give us some platform information about what it is that your cryptocurrency does when we sign up a, a facility to interact with us through our API, they, uh, in effect, agree to um, a, a device like a, a, a NAS storage device, for example, which would encrypt and store not only their patient data, but everybody else's. And in doing so, they get rewarded in MediCoins as well 
uh, which uh, is the benefit to the mining or node community that creates the network of the healthcare uh, nodes that basically interact and store patient data. So we are in effect continually converting fiat into network strength through the participation of these nodes that become the mining community and the data store community through which these transactions flow. And so the cryptocurrency piece of it also is extremely valuable when you are looking at transferring value from patient to doctor, because in effect, you can make an agreement to visit a doctor uh, for a sore throat and you would know ahead of time what that costs in Medicoin. And since it's global, or we hope that it will be anyway, um, you can compare that same procedure or same treatment globally without having to convert potatoes to tomatoes to onions to euros to dollars. This has been the first interview in our series with MyMedis founder Aram Kovach. They are at mymedis.in and their ICO is live right now. You can go check that out and start purchasing some of their coins if you're interested in the decentralized healthcare to take the power into your own hands about your health. I'm Eric with Crypto Currently. Please hit subscribe if you haven't done so and check us out on Steemit and go follow us on Twitter. This has been part one of the interview series. We have two more forthcoming from Aram. And again, I want to thank him for taking the time out of his day to talk to us. Everybody have a good day. We'll see you on the blog blockchain.